Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of a new Let's Play that's going to be ongoing on uh, my channel of one of my favorite games from when I was a kid. And we might be seeing a few of these on the channel, uh, a few uh, of the favorite games from when I was a kid, including multiple Tie the Tasmanian Tiger games, because these were absolutely my favorite games. Uh, but I want to get into the, uh, what do you call it? I want to get into the gameplay very shortly, but there's a few things I need to discuss. Uh, and that is, well, I think my goal is going to be um, getting to 100% completion. As you can see here, I've already done that multiple times over once on hardcore mode and that's the first question is are we going to play on hardcore mode which is not something that the game had when i was a kid but on steam it has like like hardcore mode and, and a bunch of other like like uh, reskins for the main character uh and stuff uh, but i'm not going to play on hardcore mode mainly because I want to actually complete the let's play without it having to reload but i i would say that there's only a, a few moments in the actual gameplay where you have a real danger of dying i mean the hardcore in this game works exactly like minecraft where if you die i think you only get one one chance and you have to start over or something well you only get one life anyway i'm not i guess i don't know i assumed it worked like minecraft um so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play an ordinary, uh, you know, um, game. And during those uh, moments and some of the boss fights and some things um, where there's actually a, a chance of dying, I'm just going to do them uh, and show how to do them without taking any damage uh, when it comes to that. And the other thing, can I... I don't know what the controls are. This is a little bit weird. Um, the way, you know, the way it was. It, I don't know. Some some games are weird with Steam. Like, they don't always work in the way you think they will. Um, but the other thing is, am I going to get all of the concept art? Because uh, in the game, you have all of the concept art uh, which is hidden in each of the levels and I don't believe it necessarily counts towards 100% completion and while I do think that it's kind of fun to do it on your own there's no point in mucking about that was Maurice I think is that his name or Maury the cockatrice I think I don't know all their all the animals uh, but I absolutely love this score for this. Um, I don't know if it'll be fun to watch me collect all of these because all you have to do is comb through each of the levels really carefully and I think I will do it actually. Well then we're gonna do it in stages. Okay, let's just start a new game up. Rather, I, w I could just listen to uh, the score all day, <laughs> but I've wasted too much time already. But yeah, other than that, we're just going to play the whole, the whole game. as well show the all the there's a few animations in this game but what do you call it I got ya I got ya okay guys I'm in catch me if you can <clears throat> my face one don't move mate I'll get help the bilbies are so awesome
Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Get I might? It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. So satisfying to me watching the boomerangs hit those those, those like missiles. Now to restore the natural order once and for all. Ah! Oh my head! Never, never, never! <laughs> By the way, I have a video on my channel where I show how I added all the different boomerangs uh, to Minecraft. You know, those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom, Dad. Not that I'm Word very good at coding. Word grows Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty, are you okay? Mori? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when <laughs> you showed up. Rude! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventuring and I'll help you out where I can. Okay, I'm not sure how many of... How much dialogue is Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're gonna be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. <laughs> the sound design, like the crispness of the audio, is so nostalgic for me. This was like one of the first games I ever played. I'm going to spare you the storytelling. Uh, at least right now. <laughs> I might not be able to help myself. Uh, but, like, reminisce. But, yeah, this... Um, this whole game is based on the Australian Outback, if you didn't uh, know that. And they all have Australian accents. We're going to get those, those scale things later on, by the way. The rainbow scales. When I was a kid, oh my god. Rainbow scales. They were like a mysterious thing. This, this game has so many cool things in it. I think we're supposed to go over here, right? G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot. <laughs> What's this contraption do? 
This contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Huh? Mm, <laughs> like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. Oh. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. Gotta have one. I mean two. Gotta have two. Of course, one for each hand. Uh, I accidentally tapped my phone. And that's what I'm recording audio into. I think it's fine. It's still recording. So yeah, let's go to two up. Can't do much with just one boomerang. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. I think there's the majority of the cutscenes in, uh, in the first one. There's a few more here and there. Most of them are pretty short, I think. Okay, so I always try to comb through these. What if the music's a little too loud? I'm gonna try to turn it down just a tad. I don't know if I can, I might have to do that later. Okay. I always try to comb through every area <laughs> because you can get lost in these maps, you know going around and around. Oh, and get ready for some jumping puzzles in the Ty the Tasmanian Tiger series. And why is my mouse not responding? There we go. Beauty, butler, bonza, I got one. Yeah, 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 one down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> Okay, if we miss some of the opals, can I see that here? Game info, right? There we go. So in each level, we got to get five bilbies. How many is this? Is it eight thunder eggs, ten cogs, and it also tells us how much paintings. And then there's a 
uh, a race with each one of these, right? Which is just a time attack. If we uh, if we miss one of the opals, I don't remember if I already said that, but if we miss one of the opals, we can get a magnet and it'll automatically top us off. Oh. There we go. <laughs> but I'm going to try not to. Those dummies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny, which was the best place to be given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. The logic of that went way over my head as a kid. I'm gonna try not to make every part of my commentary just saying what I was thinking as a kid, but honestly... That's what I want to talk about. You've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. Mm. Get it? It's choppers. Bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates. Oh, we can actually pull the camera back a little, a little bit. I think that's about as far as it goes. It'll probably now, I was speaking change to a on its own. The local hole, and he reckons you can use your rings to take care of enemies and smash things. Shoot Ripper! He said something now, wait a minute. He said something about pressing the throw button to use them. did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now, there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're boss Cass. I don't know what that one is. Wait, 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 wait. Is that lag? Is this gonna lag? I don't understand why that happened. I don't know how smooth this recording is going to turn out. Anyway, um, might have to turn the performance down somehow. Not the performance, the quality down. Might have to do that later. Anyway, um, by the way, uh, eventually, if we get enough cogs, these are what you use to unlock the new boomerangs. Uh, and they're always in a fixed order. Like, you always, you unlock the next one, 
And then I think like the third or fourth one is going to be the X-ray. And that's going to help us spot the hidden crates in order to get the paintings. Honestly. Hmm. Like we got to go back through each one of these levels anyway. So my strategy is just to get as many cogs as possible until we can get the X-ring unlocked. And then we can comb through the level one at a time and get everything. So we don't necessarily need to get all of these in the beginning. And so that's why it's kind of important for me to decide if we're even going to get all the paintings because it changes my whole mindset with how I approach the series. Like, if I'm going to hold off on that and do it later, then, I mean, I guess we can just, you know, go back through it, all of the levels anyway. Well, that, that kind of changes, like, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of weird to have a whole playlist when you're constantly going back and forth between the different levels rather than just, like, one level per video or something like that. I don't know. I mean, we can just get everything and then go back through the levels after to just get the paintings. I guess that makes sense. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened and he ended up with a thunder egg. Right, I. Now, I don't believe that any of the uh, things that you unlock later on are going to be useful in these levels, uh, except for combat. Like, I don't think there's any secrets other than the, the hidden crates. I don't really remember, though. Double check and see if I miss anything. Is there anything up in that tree? I don't think there is. Another thing which I just didn't question as a kid. It's just very satisfying to break them. That's the only thing that matters, right? Levels are, they were really my first introduction to like an open world kind of atmosphere in a game. It's not really an open world because they're kind of linear, but anyway, it makes me wonder if just showing all the footage is the best way to uh, make a let's play of this. So I don't know. Hey, 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 hey. I almost got hit. I didn't see him there. Um, but yeah, leave your feedback if you think that... Or maybe don't leave your feedback if you think it's boring. Maybe don't. <laughs> Hello, Julius. Just might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulaceous Boomerangerous Extrapolator. 
Right. What's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. Is there something in there? No. I don't know if you're actually able to get up from here. I think you probably are. Like, I don't remember if the correct way was to jump across from there. I don't think... I don't think it was. And I don't think you can actually get over there. I think there's another way. on this get off I mean you can you can also just hop up from from there can we even get that I don't think we can dive yet not to activate the tip as we walk over here. Maybe I could have showed that guy off before I finished him. Because there are certain enemies that are like unique in some of the levels. They're kind of cool. We gotta go over here and get that box before we move on. camera likes to turn, which is why the jump puzzles are so annoying in these games. And it's honestly the only kind of puzzle that you'll ever encounter in these, it's like jump puzzles. Like the most frustrating jump puzzles that you will ever experience. At least that's my memory. Because I've, I've played all these games to 100% completion. Uh, all the tie games, except for the fourth one, which is a 2D side scroller, which I actually have not finished. Uh, we'll probably do a series on that one later, though, as with the other two. But I'm not, I don't know that much about, about the fourth one. see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. Well, there's no time to sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're gonna have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was gonna give you, but a bunch of frills stole it. You'll have to take them all on to get it back. I'm 
trying to remember, is it the middle button? Get out of the water. So we got our extra life. lagging a little bit. Let's just go over here. Like today wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> you seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, you're too right. Uh, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. How? It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start gliding. Right. Is that safe? Safe as houses, mate. See if you can glide across this gap to reach that thunder egg. All right. Safe as houses. This is kind of hard to do, actually. You need a little bit of momentum you here. Ripper! <sighs> Look at that. Me mate's mate, mate, mate was telling the truth after all. <laughs> Just as well I didn't call for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colours. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. Okay. What's that for? The racetrack. You can race the clock to win another thunder egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging for me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. Not right yet. We're going to... There's another part of this uh, map to explore. I was wondering if we should do the... the race first. I guess so. Welcome to the track. Race to the finish as fast as you can, mate. The checkpoints will lead the way. But miss one and the race is over. <laughs> Good luck. really focusing <laughs> most of these are relatively simple to complete that was a ripper of a race tie you're faster than a long-legged emu with a case of the belly aches <laughs> case of the belly aches. I reckon you've earned this oh, you beauty does this put me back at the beginning it does that's not fair that's cool. I'm gonna go all the way back. I mean, I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's just down here. You know, this game is kind of hard to, um, I'm finding it hard to comment over because there's so much dialogue <laughs> in this early stage. Why is it lagging? I can't 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's crazy. Is that going to be worse than the recording? I wasn't anticipating this. Something's just lagging like crazy. I don't know why, but this jump is so annoying to complete. And the lag is not helping. I'm not sure why that, why it could possibly be lagging. Is there really no? Can we just turn the draw distance to low? Everything is like already low, right? Yeah, I don't know if there's supposed to be a trick to this or not. Seem to work. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. He almost got me. Oh, this is fun. What else is there? that I was kind of missing. sure you need to get some momentum in order to get these jumps. Maybe I just haven't got the hang of it. Maybe they're like, there's like giving you a little boost or something. I can't tell. It feels... really weird. Oh, you just jump up from the side. Oh, whatever. Oh, that's the last one. We got a head from that. Wasn't a half bad effort, Ty. I reckon with a little more practice, you'll get there. Cool. I didn't activate the first sign to give the context to that dialogue. This episode is already 40 minutes long because I've been playing all of it. All the dialogue. I was thinking that every every one of these could be its own episode. At least to start out. Yeah. So they might actually be longer episodes. Guess it just kind of works out that way. Because 
there's a lot of running around trying to like collect everything. And I believe that is everything other than going to the opal machine and getting our last thunder egg. And of course coming back here later to get all the all the hidden crates. Whoa, whoa. Gotta do this again. that's going to conclude the first episode of this let's play which i guess is going to go on for a while um i believe there are 12 levels something like that with some bonus levels um no there's more because there's also the boss fights right hold on a second there's four in each, there's three plus a boss fight in each st stage, and there's three stages. And then there's some extra boss levels at the end, and then there's a bonus level, so I don't know. That's about how long this series is going to go on for. Imaginable power will 